Welcome to Bob Bernie Live. It is such a privilege to welcome all of you to the program today, but it is a special privilege for me to welcome a couple of folks to tell us about something that is new, unique, and I know you hear that all the time. Everything is new and unique, but this really is. I want to introduce to you Andrea Carling and Ray Hustick. You probably know the name Ray Hustick, a legend in, in uh, the central Ohio community. In his own mind. <laughs> and they're here to talk about Evans Farm. Guys, welcome. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having us. When I first began learning about Evans Farm, I thought, no, this doesn't exist today. What they want to create in Lewis Center, Ohio, it no longer exists. 50s, 60s, it existed, but not today. But you are leading a community development that you're calling, let let me me get this, a walkable front porch community. What in the world is a walkable front porch community? I'm going to tackle that in a second, but I'm first going to say thank you for being of the voice of common sense in, in, in a world today where we badly need common sense voices. After oh, all this madness at the conventions and all the crazy things that are happening in the world, I I love listening to you. And, and, and as one of your listeners, on behalf oh, of all goodness. your listeners, I want to say thank you for that. Ray, coming from you, you have no idea what that means. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. What is so, a walkable front porch community? Yeah, we, you're going to park your car. And walk to the things you do every day, but you're going to live in a, in a custom home in, in Evans Farm that you're going to design with an architect, has a big front porch on it. You're going to hang out with your wife and your kids and your neighbors, which is a new thing when you think about it. In, in subdivision living today, we, we have lost a lot of that. You're going to walk to the coffee shop, your yoga class, the kids' activities. You might even walk to your office in the downtown. So it's a it's a community that has a sense of community, and it's a place that gives you the opportunity to begin to reconnect with people because we we tend to be moving the other way. Well, every time a new development comes into town, it's unique. It's new. It's unusual. But this really is unique. There is nothing like this anywhere in central Ohio. In fact, I don't know of anything like this in the state of Ohio. Am I right? Uh, you're right. Yeah. This will be the first of its kind Andrea, in as, Ohio. As sales manager, this has got to be really exciting for you to be able to pitch something that is going to be so appealing to families. It's extremely exciting because it is so different and so unique, and I'm excited to be a part of it. I believe in it. I believe in the vision, and um, I can't wait. All right, let's go up to the the proverbial 35,000-foot level. And Andrea Carling, sales manager, is looking down on Evans Farm. Tell our listeners what you're going to see in this community. What you are going to see in this community is it's a gorgeous, gorgeous place where all the homes are slightly closer together than Mm -hmm. what you may be used to. Mm -hmm. Garages are going to be in the back. Um, every house is going to have a front porch, whether it's a large front porch, a large front porch. Um, my wife will love that. Yep. Sidewalks everywhere. There's going to be a town center. We have a YMCA coming in. We'll have restaurants, pubs, boutique stores and shops that you can go to and sidewalks everywhere. We're going to have 35% green space, which is different from most communities, parks everywhere with walking paths, biking paths. Um, it's all about getting out and connecting again. In most communities around central Ohio, you come in after work, put your car in the garage, go in your house, you don't come out, you don't meet your neighbors. Next morning, you get in the car, drive to work again. That's not the goal of Evans Farm. No. You really want people to know each other and you want it to be self-contained? Is that a proper word? You want it to be community. Community. Exactly. We want you to come home on a Friday afternoon, park your car in the garage, and hopefully you will not need that car again until Monday morning when you go back to work. Friday night, you can walk, date night, you can walk down to the local restaurant, have dinner, go to a wine tasting. Saturday morning, get up, sit on your front porch, drink coffee, read your paper, wave to your neighbor, or walk down to the coffee shop, have some coffee, read the paper there, talk to your neighbors. Stop by the little mom and pop grocery store on the way home to pick up something for dinner that night. Grab the kids, walk, ride bikes to the local park or. Honestly, this sounds too good to be true. 
But for our listeners, you've got a very special event coming up tomorrow. It's called the Muddy Boots Tour. Bad news, I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. But, you know, you'll find mud somewhere, Ray. We you bring will, a uh, fire truck. Yeah, and, good. And, yeah, we can have everybody have their own <laughs> bucket of water and create their I, own mud is, if we What need is to. the Muddy Boots Tour? Because it's happening tomorrow, 3 to 6, up in Lewis Center. And our listeners need to get there. They need to be there tomorrow. But what what's it all about? This is a party that we are having on site right off of Lewis Center Road. Our developers are going to be there. Our builders are going to be there. Ray and I will be there with our sales team answering questions. We'll be giving updates on the community and the timeline. We're going to give tours of the land, and people will be able to get a sneak peek at Phase 1 lots. And it's going to be an exciting time. Some of our vendors will be there. Uh, we're going to have food trucks there. It'll food be fun. trucks. Food, food trucks. Truck. I'm there. I'm there. Food <laughs> trucks. All right. What What is your target audience? Who do you Who do you want to live in Evans Farm? Well, Evans Farm is a, is a place that we want to have an instant maturity. If you think of Old Worthington or Grandview Heights or Clintonville, you have folks that have grandkids and they've raised their families living next door to people sure, who don't even sure, have kids yet sure, or right. singles. And and because we're going to variety, have a variety of different types of residential products, we anticipate uh, having kind of a, a community that has a maturity about it right out of the gate. And you'll have lots of different lifestyles living together. And, and frankly, that's a big part of the appeal to some of the older communities in central Ohio. Well, you know, I've observed through the years when a new community goes in, it's so stark. And it takes 40 years for that community to develop any kind of of personality. But right out of the gate, Evans Farm sounds like it's going to have its very own personality and an intimacy. Is is that the wrong word to use? An intimacy as far as a community? I think it's perfect because it, it speaks to the connecting. And, yeah. and reconnecting with people. And it's something that w- we tend to be moving away from. We're becoming so, we've got our earbuds in, we, we're, we're tied to the phone and the iPad and, and all of those things. We've created all these little rooms in our houses where we can go hide from people. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and, and we're trying to, to look at, again, something that it seems like everybody really desires when you think about it is connecting with people and becoming part of something and having those relationships that we tend to be losing. And again, we're talking with Andrea Carling and Ray Hustick, part of the sales team of Evans Farm in Lewis Center. How can our listeners find you this coming Saturday, tomorrow? Because I know they're going to go to the Moody, not Moody, Muddy Boots Tour. How will they find you? Well, if you go from Olentangy High School, across the railroad tracks on Lewis Center, heading yeah, east yeah. towards the reservoir, uh, the property is all on the north side of Lewis Center there. It's uh, clearly defined. So we sit between the railroad tracks and Old State off Lewis Center, and you'll see the balloons and the entrance and all the people. So and- if, you, if you're going up Route 23, High Street... Where do you go? Make a right turn on Lewis Center, and you'll, Lewis you'll, Center? as soon as you cross the tracks, you'll see us on the left side there. It, you will not miss if it. If you're going up over Route 3, go to Lewis Center, turn left, mm-hmm. correct? Correct. All right, and it's 3 to 6 tomorrow afternoon, Muddy Boots Tour. And uh, Andrea and Ray will be there on site to answer your questions. What price range are the houses going to be, the single-family homes? Because I know a lot of listeners are wondering, what are, what's the price range going to yeah, be? Yeah, it's a great question, and, and you're going to dictate that because you're going to design the house. You're going to decide, decide if you want the exotic countertops and the fancy $30,000 appliance package. Okay. Um, but the lot prices go from the low 60s all the way up to 180000 So the home prices will be all wow. over the place, and you'll probably be able to get into the community somewhere in the threes to start. Although, again, that's not something we're dictating. We're interested in what the architecture looks like. You're going to and, decide what's inside. And the word it. cookie cutter is anathema. That is something that is not going to be heard at Evans Farm. By the way, folks, I want you to check out their website as well, evansfarmliving.com. Evansfarmliving.com. We will have a link at wrfd.com. Wrfd.com. Have a link on my Facebook page, Bob Birdie Live Facebook, and on our Twitter feed. It'll all be there where you can find out information about Evans Farm. Folks, it's like getting in a time machine and going back to the 50s, the 60s, that lifestyle that all of us remember and thought was gone forever. It's coming back at Evans Farm. 
Andrea, Ray, thank you so much. Visit the Muddy Boots Tour tomorrow, 3 to 6 in Lewis Center. All of the information again at EvansFarmLiving.com or at WRFD.com, my Facebook, my Twitter. Andrea and Ray, thank you so much for coming in today.